Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Morgison and you are watching the North Texas Guitar Licks channel on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about how to improvise or solo in the mode of C. Lydian and we're going to use a backing track I wrote specifically for this. So this is going to be how to play in C. Lydian, what it is and how to use it in a rock type context. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is how to derive the scale and figure out what it is and uh, sort of the harmonies that belong to it. And that, you know, we're going to use, if we're going to use C Lydian, and we're going to go C to C and we're, it's basically going to be a major scale with a raised fourth scale degree. So the fourth scale degree of C is going to be F, we're going to raise that to F sharp and that's going to give us that Lydian sound. You will also notice that one sharp will also give us the key of G major if you want to think about it in those terms. But for now, we're just going to think about it as a major scale with a raised fourth scale degree. So the first thing we need to know is how to play that scale. So I'm going to think of it right now as just a regular G major scale. All right, starting on, and I have that written out for you here, so you can pause the video and take a screenshot if you've never done a a three note per string scale in the key of G this is what it's going to look like here and these circle tones are where our F sharp is going to be and uh, or the, where I'm going to think of it when I'm improvising and where I'm going to exploit this so our first one's just going to be 357 on the E, 357 on the A uh, 457 on the D, 457 on the G, 578 on the B, 578 on the E <laughs> Okay, the next scale, or the next form of it we're going to use is going to start on 10 of the E string and we're going to go 10, 12, 14, and then we're going to go 10, 12, 14 on the A, 10, 12, 14 on the D, 11, 12, 14 on the G, 12, 13, 15 on the B string, and 12, 14, 15 on the high E string. So those are the two forms I'm going to give you and recommend if, uh, that you uh, start messing around with uh, if you've never had any um, experience playing in, in this, this key or this setting. Uh, the next one I'm going to give you is a, an arpeggio lick that I like to play which sounds pretty cool. And it's sort of based on uh, this scale and this scale put together. So. Um, Right here, just so you know, what I have is you, you can play this scale an octave up and to use the dots as guides. So uh, this dot, of course, relates to this dot. It's just an octave up here, so 15. So these three dots here are going to be the same as these three dots here, just an octave up. <laughs> Alright, so that's really all that means. What we're going to do here, this arpeggio, it kind of combines these two ideas uh, together and so it ends up being a gap scale all right pretty cool sounds uh, really kind of out there unique and uh, it turns out that it is an actual arpeggio um, so it's sort of our C non-dominant seventh with a ninth and an eleventh so when we get that, it's going to sound really nice over this chord, is really what I'm getting at. And then uh, the last scale we're going to look at is going to be E minor in time. And we'll talk about why that is right now. So the backing track is going to be split up into basically two parts. One part is going to be a long pedal tone sustained over this uh, C9 sharp 11 chord. It's going to look like this. So that part will go for a while and then when we get into what is going to sound like the chorus we're going to move from E minor to D over F sharp to G so it'll look like this. Then we're going to move from A minor to G over B to C to a nice uh, kind of D9 
uh, 11 chord, and I'll show you what that sounds like. So from here, the E minor, D over F sharp, G, to our A minor, G over B, to C, and then our th So, or we can just think about it as being a D. So. All right, so that is our chord progressions, and any uh, of these arpeggios will, of course, sound good with those uh, chords if you feel so inclined to put them in. All right, so let's go ahead and take a listen to uh, the, the song for just a second, and I'll kind of walk you through what's going on here and we'll come back and then we'll talk about where to use these scales and these licks. So uh, this is going to start a little way halfway into uh, the first part. So there's our C9 sharp 11. And it's just all one harmony. Okay, so those are going to be the two sections of the song that are going to repeat. It's going to go for about eight minutes. All right, so over this C sharp nine, any of these first three are going to sound really good. And the one tone you want to try and exploit the most and get on the inside uh, is this F sharp, these tones that are circled here. And you'll hear me um, coming back to them constantly, okay? And that's what gives us that Lydian sound, is that sharp four. Now the reason I have E minor pentatonic up here is so that when we go to the second section, this is more or less in the uh, key of, it, well, it, it is in the key of E minor, okay? So we, we, I, I think of it as being in uh, E minor and we're no longer really in C Lydian. And you'll notice that I actually stay away from the tone C for the most part when I get into uh, this section. So I'm going to go ahead and just play a few things and uh, also demonstrate uh, sort of the, some of the tones I can get. As you can tell, this is a, a new guitar if you're familiar with my, my videos. This is an RG652 FX Prestige. It still has the old DiMarzios in it, which uh, is the uh, tone zone and then the... Uh, um, and then we have the uh, Air Norton up front, so uh, I'll be switching back and forth between those. Really great guitar. This is the first actual video I've done with it, so uh, this is all kind of a, a trial one with it. Anyways, let's just go ahead and start uh, the song. So here we go. Now the scale, how it sounds over it. Well, let's go to the next chord. 
seven in the circle four here. So it's seven. I'm going to bend it up a half step. That's our Lydian tone. So you can kind of connect uh, C, a C major arpeggio, C, G, uh, with the uh, D major arpeggio. And since it also has the, sort of that non-dominant seventh implied, uh, uh, we can also add uh, like a B natural on top of that and take it into a, a, an E minor arpeggio. And you can tell it's a really, I, I still think that these old DiMarzio pickups, uh, a lot of people don't like them. Uh, they're classics to me, so they still sound pretty good. I might change them a little, a little later, I don't know. Uh, but in terms of uh, the Tone Zone and the Air Norton, I, I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. It's the first time I've actually owned these pickups, so uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't really be happy uh, with them. Um, but anyways, getting back to the ar arpeggios, uh, the other arpeggio that you saw me throwing in there was a, was a uh, B minor, so we can also think of that as B, D, F sharp. So uh, if we just keep stacking thirds, C, E, G, B, D, F sharp, uh, they're all kind of related, so that's why they tend to sound uh, good with one another. If you have any questions about those, you can just put them in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. So I'll leave a link um, in the description uh, of this video for this backing track and uh, uh, in the comments section on Facebook and Minds, I will, uh, if you subscribe to my artist page, I'll leave a screenshot of this board. If you, again, have any questions at all uh, about this guitar, about how to solo and C Lydian in a, in a rock context, of course there's many approaches, this is just one of them that I think, uh, if you're new to it, that you can take and be successful 
right away. Um, again, thank you for watching this video. If you like this content and want to see more, please like and subscribe. There will be lots more videos coming down uh, the pipe here in the near future about how to solo over some of my other tracks. We'll have lots more uh, high quality backing tracks. I think there's something like 65 up there now. Uh, the goal for the end of this year will be 200 or so. We'll see if we can make that. Um, keep an eye out. I'm also going to review theory and harmony books and talk about music composition as well. So um, again, my name is Taylor Morganson. You've been watching the North Texas Guitar Licks channel. And have a great afternoon, day, night, whatever, week. And uh, practice, practice, practice. Thank you.